Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little um, kind of like productivity slash organizing vlog. What's new? I feel like I'm always doing these videos, but um, I just have some stuff that I want to get done and I felt like vlogging it all. Um, I am back in Charlotte right now. I got back here last night and first things first, I have no food in my house. I haven't been spending a lot of time in Charlotte this summer, so yeah my fridge is completely empty i have no food i'm only gonna be here for like three or four days though so i don't want to get a bunch of stuff but i do need to go to the store and just like get a few things probably just like frozen food so that i'm not under any pressure to eat it all um but that's the first thing i want to do in this video is do a little trader joe's run and then later tonight it's actually only one o'clock right now but later this evening i want to do just some like cleaning out and organizing around my house i have one month left on my lease and i just want to kind of like gradually start cleaning everything out so that i'm not under a huge amount of pressure to do that right before i move out if you're new here what's up my name is adrian i would love if you hit subscribe i upload vlogs pretty much every week just about my life Life, and I would love for you to be a part of the fam. But anyways, oh, these glasses are dirty. I need to clean these off. All right, first things first, we're going to go to good old Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in such a long time, so I'm really excited about this. I have a feeling I'm gonna be there for a while because I love to just like ponder around the eye. For tip, if you live in Charlotte, run all of your errands in the middle of the day. Don't wait until six because you won't get any of them done. You won't sit in traffic all day. Oh, I'm so happy it's like not busy at all. All right, so we are back in action. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up from Traders. It's not much at all, um, but as I said, I just kinda wanna show you guys what I picked up. Um, when I don't need like a lot of food in my house, but I still obviously need to survive and have something to eat And in case you're wondering no, I don't follow um, food combining I've been watching like so many of these anti food combining videos and I low-key love them because I completely agree with them But okay, so Trader Joe's haul. Um, first I got some of these mini sweet peppers This is not something I always get but I just saw this bag and they looked really good You can cook these like stir-fry them or you can just eat them raw as a snack so I'll probably do both. Um, I also got just a couple of bananas. These aren't ripe yet, so I'll probably have them in a couple days. I got some frozen broccoli. Got a lot of frozen broccoli. Um, these little mango slices, the dried fruit from Trader Joe's, these are so good. Really good snack if you have a sweet tooth. And then also I like to have um, frozen berries in my oatmeal. And then also this is a really good dessert. You can just put like honey on it and add some like almonds to it and it's really good. Speaking of almonds, I always like to have a big bag in my pantry and I just finished my bag this morning. So I need more. Um, this like huge bag usually lasts me, I don't know, typically like over half of the month because I don't chow down on like tons of almonds, but it's just nice for whenever I'm craving something crunchy and then I got a couple of avocados and then to go with these avocados, I got this, which I've never had before. I'm really excited to try it. Um, it's this like green crisp bread. So it's made out of sesame seeds and sunflower seeds, rye, oats, flax seeds, and I guess that's it. But I like to just kind of mush up avocado onto rice cakes, so I thought it would be good just to, you know, add it to that. And finally, I just got two of these little coconut Greek yogurt box things um it just has like the granola to go inside of it and yeah this should be plenty of food for me to have over the next couple of days i have some like rice and what else do i have literally the only food i think i have is rice oh and oatmeal i have oatmeal and i'll have that for breakfast um but yeah. but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff away and then head upstairs and i think i'm gonna try and get like a jump start on some of the decluttering that i wanted to do um, you guys, this is so funny. My roommate Mary moved out of our apartment a few weeks ago and 
we decided that she could keep the couch and our kitchen table and stuff because I don't want it. Um, and so obviously I was like, girl, just take it. Like take it when you move out. And so our entire downstairs is like empty. And if you've seen my apartment before, you know it's like a hardwood floor and then we have like our big windows. <laughs> and we did, the couch used to be like wrapped around here and then our dining room table used to be right here. It's so empty. So last night I literally, took these two chairs, the only two chairs that we had left in here, and I just kind of made a little makeshift living room area. This is my TV and my TV stand, which is nice, but like, look at how lame this is. Like, this, and then I hate the curtains too. Don't mind the curtains. Um, our landlord makes us keep them. So yeah, but, <laughs> and then over here, no kitchen table. But it's okay because honestly, I'm getting like dance studio vibes in here. So maybe I could just like have a dance party later. I don't know. Clea, the vlog missed you. Are you going to say hello? Say hello. Hello. I love your little smile, baby girl. All right. So I told you guys I wanted to make this a very kind of like motivational, organizing, get stuff done with me vlog. And the first thing we're going to do is tackle something that I've just been avoiding for months. My closet, I just, ooh, I don't know. It <laughs> It just needs some help because I always am throwing stuff up there. Down here, half of this stuff I want to get rid of. Don't know what's over there. These boxes have stuff with like old school stuff that I want to give to someone, but I don't know who. So at this point, I'm like, maybe I should just recycle it. I also kind of want to get this area cleaned up just because this also is just kind of like a little bit of a um, mess. So these are my two projects, but oh my gosh, Cleo, why are you being so cute today? I kind of think she misses my parents from back home. What was that? Why are you being so cute? You like belly rubs? Like, I don't even know where to start in here. And this is literally the tiniest closet ever. How do people with big closets keep like their stuff clean? I don't know, okay. So I guess I'm just gonna start by like pulling all this stuff out and going through what I do want. I'm going to take this bag and just put everything in this bag that I want to Donate because Lord, I have a lot of stuff that I just don't, I just don't want it anymore. And what sucks is I have so many workout shirts, but I just I don't need them all. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Um, I cannot believe that I was cleaning without music on for the past like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to put some music on. Um, this is my current playlist. I will try to link this below if I can figure out how. I guess I just have to find the link. Um, but I just have this Summer 19 playlist and anytime I hear a good song, I add it. Warning, a lot of it is um, like non-American music. I've been listening to so much K-pop and like K-rap recently, but there is a good amount of American music in this as well. And it's a lot of like oldies, I feel like. Like this is such an old song. Okay, I don't want copyright. That is such an old song i really like this song too so yeah check it out if you're looking for new music i will leave my playlist link right below okay back to cleaning guys looking through all of this school stuff just brings back so many feels like i mean obviously I don't miss it whatsoever, but just like the feeling, I guess, that you experience once you like finish school, I feel like the feeling I, I feel is that I'm incredibly proud, honestly, that I was able to like learn all of this stuff. I mean, obviously not all at once, like this was all throughout the span of several semesters, but man, oh man, I shed many tears <laughs> over all of this stuff. Oh, I need to save this. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to probably just recycle all of this because nobody that I really know is taking any of these classes. So I'm just gonna recycle all of this. I don't know what's in this Charming Charlie's box. Okay, I guess this is stuff I should probably save. Here is a textbook. I could definitely sell this. I could definitely sell this textbook. Oh my gosh, here's my sorority composite from 2017 to 2018. I will show you guys. My photo is right here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna save this, obviously. 
Okay, so update, I'm currently in the process of putting together kind of like a memory box just of stuff from the past few years that I don't want to necessarily get rid of but they really don't serve me much purpose to keep outside of the box. So all of the things in here just have their own little story. I'm not gonna get into all of them but then I also have some more stuff and oh, this is a dress I wore to my mom's wedding. I wore this shirt to Big Little Reveal. I'm gonna put my sorority composite in here. Um, I think that's everything that I've gathered for now. But yeah, I think this is the one box that I'm gonna keep in my closet um, just so that I can continue to add stuff to here if I find anything that I wanna hold on to. Yay, Operation Closet Cleanup is complete and it feels so much better in here. Um, I took out that other box and I just have a lot of laundry I need to do tonight. You guys, I have really downsized the number of clothes I own. Are you guys proud of me? Because if you remember, it used to be all the way across, um, but I have gotten rid of so much stuff and I've only held on to everything that I want to keep when I move. And yeah, literally I now own two workout tops. <laughs> I'm just trying to be more of a minimalist because I know when I move, I'm gonna wanna buy so many clothes. And then a lot of my other stuff is still packed away in my suitcase, which I never took out of my car last night, so I need to grab that. Um, but okay, one of the things I did find while I was cleaning is this productivity book. I don't remember when I got this. Um, as you can see, it's like a little bit dusty because I literally had not touched it for years. I think I'm gonna start using it but it's pretty much a productivity planner and they give you like a ton of tips on how you can be um, productive throughout the day. And then there's like these weekly planning pages. So each day is a different quote and you can um, put the year in and then you like rank your tasks and then like any notes and then you can like score yourself at the end of the day. I think that's so fun. Um, so I'm gonna try and get more into this and there's like quotes on certain pages. May you always do what you're afraid to do. I like that one. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper and I did cut up a couple of those mini um, little peppers that I got from Trader Joe's but voila this is what it looks like I'm actually gonna give this little piece a try on camera and just tell you guys what I think yeah okay so honestly they just taste pretty like wheaty like if you had a piece of wheat bread you know like that wheat taste but they're good nutritious and made of whole foods so thumbs up to those I definitely recommend them this is kind of just like an early I don't know, like a late lunch slash early dinner, and then I'll probably eat like one more small meal later on today. My eating schedule in the summer is just so random. It really just depends on what I'm doing, but I do want to film a what I eat in a day video, so if I should film that video next, comment below, and I definitely will, because I want to show you guys the meals I've been making lately, but it's just weird, because sometimes I'll just eat one big meal in a day, and then I'll snack throughout the day. Sometimes I'll have like three meals. It really just depends on like what I have going on that day. <laughs> Okay, I just did one of these Makuna honey masks and this stuff is so good for your skin. I always use my skin feeling so soft after and I've heard that it can be really good with curing um, hormonal acne, which is what I have. The only thing is you have to do it like every single day to see results. So while I was at Trader Joe's today, I actually got a new um, little bottle of it and I'm gonna do it every single day, maybe even twice a day if I have the chance to. And I will be sure to let you guys know how the results are because my friend swears by it there's so much online um, that says you know good things about it so fingers crossed but now I'm gonna take my little doggy look at her she's waiting down there for me um, I'm gonna take Cleo on a nice long walk it's actually a little bit past six and I was thinking after the walk I'm going to walk to a nearby coffee shop um, in my neighborhood and do a little bit of editing and then I also have some emails to catch up on and some recruitment video stuff because I'm doing my stories recruitment video so that is kind of taking up a lot of my time this summer also anyways are you ready to go outside Cleo let's go girl <laughs> Wrong way, this this way, come on. <laughs> Good girl, there you go. All right, so I just walked Cleo and I put her up and I am now going to go to Starbucks and I'm gonna get a head start on editing this vlog because I wanna get it live tomorrow morning, I think. Um, and it's funny because I was just like kind of reminiscing on the fact that I have gone to more cafes this past summer. Let me adjust you guys a little bit. I've gone to more cafes this past summer 
than I have I think in my entire life like when I was in college I would never go to um, cafes to get schoolwork done just because I cannot focus on learning something new if I'm in a cafe setting for me like if I need to focus I gotta be by myself secluded in the library or something like that so in college I would never go to cafes now I've been going to cafes so much like not even just to get stuff and editing done but like with my friends we'll just like go to a cafe and we'll just sit there and chat and I really like it to be honest so I think it also has something to do with the weather like now that it's just nicer out I like am wanting to get out and do more rather than just sit at home like I do all freaking winter um, but yeah that's my plan and then I'm also going to stop at Target after and I need to pick up some shampoo and conditioner because I don't have any of that here and then also while I was cleaning today and this is a little life hack I want to share with y'all while I was cleaning I found like three different products I got from Target just like skincare and um, I tried them out like a month ago, maybe like a month and a half ago. And I didn't like the products. I didn't get much use out of them at all. Like the entire bottle is still full. And I'm gonna go to Target and return them because I just, there's no point in keeping them. And that's like a life hack, you guys. If you try out a product from Target or Walmart and you don't like it, save your receipt. You honestly don't even need your receipt, I don't think. Like I think they can just look it up with your card. Um, bring that stuff back and get your money back girl because those large corporations they don't care that like 30 40 dollars that they're giving you back you will probably get so much more use out of that than that corporation so don't feel bad about getting your coin back girl okay so I was gonna get coffee but last minute I decided I was really in the mood for matcha so I got this which is a grande iced uh, matcha latte right iced matcha latte yeah feels weird to say that because i never order it and i got it uh with almond milk and this is what it looks like i don't know if it's supposed to be like not all the way dissolved or what but let's try it this is really good i like this i actually really did not fall in love with matcha until i went to japan because there's so much matcha over there um but yeah i definitely do I just finished at Starbucks and right when I got in my car my phone died and I need my GPS to get to the Target because I have no idea how to get there from here so while I get some charge on my phone I figured I would just hop on and talk to you guys I just wanted to say thank you for all of these sweet sweet words on my video I posted last week about why I haven't been super active on YouTube or on like a good note I've been much more inspired lately to film like I feel like because I have hung out with so like just been hanging out with people so much I'm like really missing YouTube and all that kind of stuff so I feel like with any creative hobby or job you go in like waves you know what I mean and I've been doing YouTube for so long that there definitely have been like a few lows and I can totally feel it going from like low to high right now like I totally feel like I'm getting back in the swing of things and I think also being in Charlotte does help me feel a lot more inspired because I'm in my own creative space it's really hard when I'm at my parents for me to feel completely focused because I actually don't have an official bedroom at my parents house they live in a loft style condo so my room is the loft which is also kind of their office which is totally okay I don't expect to have like my own space everywhere I go but if you guys can like understand it is harder to be creative and focused when I'm at my parents compared to here in Charlotte and I wish that Charlotte and Raleigh weren't so far apart but yeah I just want to say thank you it means a lot you guys and I'm so glad I made that video because I do feel so much better. Like I always feel better when we are on the same page. And yeah, moral of the story, if you're feeling some type of way about something, talk about it because you always feel better after. Um, okay, well my phone's back on now. So I'm going to skirt on over to I missed Target. you. Did you miss me? All right, you guys, so I am back home now. It's a little bit past nine already. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just close the video off here. I'm pretty much just going to make some of that broccoli I got and some rice and watch a few YouTube videos, finish editing this vlog and 
call it a night. I have been trying to go to bed at a reasonable hour lately because that way it's way easier to get up early. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you want to see a what I eat in a day video, be sure to let me know and I will start filming that ASAP because I feel like it's been forever since I've done one of those. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and check me out on Instagram. I love talking to you guys on there. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Can you say bye? Say bye.